80,000 subscribers is our target. Then two lucky winners will be able to choose five wallets of their choice for my inventory. Noisy birds. Anyway, if we haven't reached 80,000 yet, you still have a chance. Subscribe now. The thing I don't like about AirTag wallets is that in your face presentation of the tag is often what we see with wallets. I'm not one to flash, so I just think it's a distraction. So in comes the Worry Wallet from Craft and Lore. That's an excellent name. Why would you have an AirTag in your wallet unless you're worried about it becoming lost? I, I like the psychology application and the reason for the naming. I kind of like that. So what do you have to worry about? Oh, no, I'm worried. Very worried. Craft and Lore packaging, very nice. Let's get to the wallet here. Alrighty. And here we go. Best things are hand built. I would uh, agree with that. Ooh, look at this. This is the Worry AirTag wallet. The Worry wallet. Hmm, this is Buck Brown. Let's take a look at some of the stitching. Hmm, this is where the AirTag goes. Let's see what we have here. Nice little welcome card. Oh, yes. Alrighty, let's do this thing. Now, whether you like an AirTag in your wallet or not, there are some interesting and well thought out design principles in the presentation of this wallet, so stick around. You'll notice that we have a brass snap here on this wallet, and it helps keep things secure. It does take a little bit of a push to get that to engage. I do miss the simple Axe brand that signifies that this is a craft and lore. We have their name brand here in the interior. I like that. Still a good relationship. And as we open it, we see that we've got one AirTag slot right here. AirTag enters through the bottom and secures itself here. From there, we've got one interior card slot right here. Capacity of 8 to 10 cards. And we'll talk about some of the sewing. We'll notice that uh, this is not secure. The leather is not secure on the opposite side. It folds and comes over here. And then finally right here we have an interior cash slot. Uh, notes folded once or wrapped would work with this. The wallet itself measures 4 by 3 by 0.25 and it weighs 56 grams or 2 ounces. Now, I haven't touched on everything yet. Have you noticed anything interesting about this wallet? company recommends up to 10 cards and notes. How you balance the capacity between the two really is up to you, but uh, it didn't struggle at all to put five cards in here and the cash I folded once. Without uh, the yen or euro, it would fit fine as a cash wrap. Just load it in like this and away you go. It does not interfere with the snap and comes down and secures just fine. I quite like the uh, option and the ability to either fold it or use it as a cash wrap. Now coming back to the air tag, it slipped in there just fine. It really wasn't a big deal. And to get it out, you just kind of muscle it down a bit. And it also will fit coins. You can get coins in here. Here is a two pound coin from the UK. Let's see if we can snag that in there. And that works just fine. It won't work with challenge coins because they're a little too wide. Challenge coins are typically one and three quarters, uh, one and a half to one and three quarters. But you could put a coin in there if you did not want to put an AirTag. But this is made for an AirTag in particular. It looks just fine. This is designed and made in the United States. And it's made from a three to four ounce full grain veg tan leather. Oh man, love this leather. This brass snap is here to keep the wallet secure, and it is hand saddle stitched. You can see that, as are all Craft and Lore wallets. It has very light burnishing on the edges. Uh, nothing super glossy, but it's not raw either. And it's interesting to note, I want you to look at this notch right here. You can see it comes up and we have a small notch there. Again, part of design, attention to detail, and functionality. When you fold this, if that notch wasn't there, you would have binding that would happen in this fold, and it would prevent it from puckering. So again, little things like this. It's priced for $70. 
Now I like the supple nature of the leather. It makes working with this wallet really a dream. And I like the placement of the AirTag. Most wallets have them displayed prominently on the outside somewhere. And it just advertises what you have going on. I like my AirTags to be a bit hidden and out of the way. You'd never know one was in here really due to the creative stitching design that we have here. And I'm sure, you know, with this poking up, if somebody was really curious, they would be able to tell. But honestly, it is not something that stands out. Now, while the snap is good, it does take a little bit of effort, but without a quick access card slot, it would be difficult to really, you know, due to the cash slot to put one in here. And you're still, you're always opening and closing this with a snap. Now, similar to the JJ Leathersmith Lucas wallet, I suspect that the Worry wallet might do just fine without the snap. So it just folds over. Uh, I, I'm sure our friends at the Craft and Lore have try, tried that at first. I don't know what wouldn't have worked with that properly, but with the weight of the air tag in here, it folds. And over time, as you use it and keep it in your in your uh, pocket, it would be I think it would hold out and it would just mold. And right now, it's not even snapped, right? It's not even snapped. And I think it would be fine without a snap. I don't know. I would prefer it without a snap. Now let's look at this line right here of stitching. This line of stitching right here is to better align how the cards go in. There's an awful lot of room right here uh, in the wallet to accommodate cash. And so this helps guide, as you can see where the stitching is, the cards in this one. It keeps them from sloshing around. It's the other reason why it's not stitched here on the far side and it prevents this from moving out and, but it provides capacity. So with this not being attached to the exterior, uh, somehow then this allows uh, capacity to increase, decrease based on cards or cash, whatever your preference might be. And that's what makes card and cash access excellent without it being sloppy. A very, very nice wallet. Craft and Lore wallets have some of the highest rankings of wallets we've ever reviewed. Now, while their wallets might appear to be overtly simple, that's the secret to a high functioning wallet, which is not easy to do. Simplicity is hard to get to. So now onto the final score. For quality of five, Great quality, love this leather, veg tanned, I mean, you can't beat this. Price of three, I think it's reasonable. Features of four, the AirTag placement is nice and you have a nice design of the stitching that incorporates that. Usability of four, easy to use, uh, no issues getting cash or cards out and really <laughs> the AirTag as well. And perception of four, that gives us a final score of 41 out of 50. Now, if you like this video, then watch this one next. If you own a wallet, you'd better be subscribed by now to this channel. We'll see you in the next review, bye.